Five workouts into training camp, but we're still not sure about this defense. The front, yes, the front's good. DeForest Buckner, Grover Stewart, Latu, Pei. Well, Tyquan Lewis looks really good so far in camp. Linebackers, all right, Zaire Franklin and EJ Speed, okay. Jalen Carlisle looks like he's going to be able to get on the field a little bit, but that back end, you like the box safety in Julian Blackman. You like the slot corner in, in Kenny. You know, you feel pretty good about Kenny Moore. The other, another corner, Juju Brents, okay. He's pretty good. He's played pretty good football, and he's long, which really, really helps him. He had a pass breakup today. The other corner and free safety, we don't know who the hell those people are going to be. And you know what? Maybe it's because on offense, you really do know who's going to play. The defense is the question mark for that reason. Had a chance today, after the fifth workout, to talk to defensive coordinator Gus Bradley. Uh, uh, no, I like just share some things with you. I think that uh, just looking at practice thus far, you know, in the beginning, you know, the, the, you look at the conditioning, the install, and I didn't think we were playing real fast as a unit. But now, yesterday it started to show up. Today, you're starting to see that speed, whether it's the execution, conditioning. And now it's just, you know, we're doing some things with personnel placement, too. Just moving some guys around, trying to figure out skill set, where to position guys. So we're in the, you know, the midst of that right now as you watch practice. How do you feel about the free safety battle so far, the things you're seeing out there? It's been good. That's I think that was one of the positions we looked at yesterday where we started to see some flashes where you know the execution part is there so now when you see them play with good execution you can kind of judge their speed then they're not thinking as much so you know we still got some work to do there as far as our evaluation but it's going in the right direction how does a samson thing change how you <laughs> yeah, it, it's tough. Whenever you lose a guy like Samson, I mean, you know, a rusher like that, it's always difficult. But someone will step up to it, and we want to be eight deep. So now it's like, well, who's going to be the next, you know, group of eight? But, you know, someone will step up, and I think everybody sees their role kind of change. And, you know, some guys will get more reps now, and we'll get a chance to evaluate them. So our goal is still to get the eight. And now it might be with just you know, someone else in that place. Does it accelerate a lot too? I uh, yeah, we were kind of moving along slow, you know, to get a feel for it. But uh, he'll get more and more reps now. You talked about him, you know, needing to convert run to pass, pass to run once the pads got on. What did you see out of him in those aspects? It's pretty good. You know, we'll get a chance to look at this. But he's been playing with a good motor. I think that you know he's a high effort guy. And I think especially the last couple of days where you're seeing them not think as much and you're seeing that that's what we thought and you're seeing that on, on tape when we watch it. So he's doing a nice job. He just keeps getting better every day. And then, you know, that's all we're asking him to do. Julian's the strong safety, obviously. He's been making a lot of big plays down the field. And yes, he has. come to expect from him. Yeah, he, Julian's one of those guys, right, like personnel placement. Where do we position him? He's got to be a guy for us that's around the ball quite a bit. He makes plays, and he's got a good, really good instincts. How do you think Kenny brings the best out of a guy like Josh Downs? I see a lot of them going back and forth. Yeah, Kenny's been ultra competitive for us. I mean, he's always competitive, but now in this camp, ultra competitive. Uh, we're challenging with different things, and he's rising to it. And, uh, you know, he wants to go against the best, the guys that give him the biggest challenge and he's stepping up to it so and he's such a presence for us you know everybody's got different personalities on our defense but the defense definitely feels his presence big opportunity now for quitty pay um, just what have you seen out of him now he's dropped like 10 pounds he seems yeah. pretty motivated I, I think for him it's just that lean body mass and his quickness and he's in a really good spot right now I mean I think he feels probably better than he ever has coming into camp and um, you're seeing it, you know, as far as his speed and things like that. So, you know, another one, we're just challenging. Just, hey, you're in great shape. Now just fine tune some things and keep playing hard and let's see where it goes. But he, he does look really good for us. That's Gus Bradley. Gus Bradley's always happy about something, which is a good thing. I think that's a sign of good leadership. You just hope that that leadership prompts something out on this field. And more importantly, the field of Lucas Oil Stadium. Hey, you know what? We are, what are we, a week and a half away from the preseason opener against the Denver Broncos at Lucas Oil Stadium. These guys got to figure some things out on the defensive end. Uh, Gus Bradley, to this point, doesn't seem too shook up about it, though.